Night. It's International Observe the Moon Night, and the Space Agency is celebrating with an event at NASA Goddard. This annual celebration encourages people to enjoy and learn more about lunar science. Joining me now is Director of International Moon Night, Andrea Jones. Andrea, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you so much for having me. Sure. Uh, tell us about some of the activities that people will be able to enjoy at NASA tonight. We have lots of exciting things planned. So we have hands-on activities about the moon and also all of the sciences at Goddard. So we'll have young ones um, can do coloring activities. We'll also have moon phase cookies. Um, you can build a lunar lander. You can play an astrophysics video game and also build art and test model rockets in a wind tunnel that a rocketry club is bringing. Um, we'll have presentations by NASA scientists. And of course, we'll have observing of the moon through telescopes and also some planets. Oh, wow. You had me a cookie. I love it. All right. Sounds like lots of fun out there. Now, what are some interesting facts that people can learn about the moon? The moon is so interesting, but some of my favorite facts about the moon are that it's shrinking um, only a little bit and over a very long time. But we have found faults all over the moon's surface that show that it's actually contracting over time. Don't worry, it'll still be visible tonight and for millions and billions of years to come. Uh, but it's kind of neat to know that. We've also found on the moon the coldest place that we've ever measured on any moon or planet in the solar system. It's actually colder at the North Pole of the moon than it is on Pluto, which is kind of neat. The moon is moving away from you at the rate your fingernails grow about that. And there's also still so much to learn about the moon. So we've been there. We've been to some a few places on the near side near the equator of the moon, but we want to learn more. And so we're going back. This time we're going to bring people um, in Artemis 2 next fall. We're going to have people go around the moon and travel farther from the Earth than any humans have ever been before. And then with Artemis 3 in the fall of 2026, we're going to land people back on the moon again, and this time at the South Pole. Wow, that all sounds incredible, and we're all going to be excited to hear what you all learn from those missions. Now, the event is from 6 p.m. to 9 p.m. Uh, what time should people arrive, and is a ticket or registration needed? So doors open at 6 p.m. Um, there's no need to arrive much earlier than that. Um, we will have most of our activities going on throughout the evening, so you can really come in anytime between maybe 6 and 8 p.m. Um, the earlier you come, the more you can do, uh, but no tickets or registration are required. This is free and open to the public. So don't be surprised if you see me out there with my little ones. You said cookies, and that then I like cookies. He likes video games, so. Oh, perfect. Well, we've got something for everybody then. You do. All righty. Take care. Have a great day. Thank you, you too. Alrighty, bye-bye.